Cherokee Nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of the men and women who have served, or are currently serving, in our armed forces. At this time, we invite both veterans and current military personnel to please stand. To you and all of our veterans and servicemen across this great nation, we thank you for your service to our country. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the teams for this afternoon's contest. First, the visiting team. They are from the Middlesex League. They are the 2017 Division IV North Sectional Champions. Introducing the undefeated Melrose Red Raiders. And now the home team. They are from the Tri-Valley League. They are the 2017 Division IV South Sectional Champions. Introducing the undefeated Hopkinson Hillary. And now at this time we ask you please all rise, remove your hats and address the flag of our great nation for the playing of our national anthem. Welcome football fans to Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Stadium here at Weymouth High School where the undefeated Hopkins and Hillers will take on the undefeated Melrose Red Raiders for the Division IV Eastern Massachusetts Championship. Winner to take on Neshoba High School for the Mass State Championship down in Gillette. I'm Jay Golfi filling in for Rick Decina along with Don Lehman. And Don, this is what it's all about. Two undefeated teams going at it. This is a huge stage for these boys, for this program, for really for this town, Jay. Um, you know, th this, this team has been building towards this all year. Um, it seems like, at least the scouting report that we have, that it's, Melrose is a pretty serious opponent. They've been to two out of the last three Super Bowls down in Gillette. Um, they are also 10-0, and they've got a coach last year uh, who was last year's MIAA Coach of the Year. And he's been coaching for 22 years at Melrose. So they're a storied program. This is new ground for the Hillers. I wouldn't bet against the green, though, Jay. Never bet against the green, Don. No. Nah. Uh, Hopkinton has a knack this year for figuring it out, um, whether it's at halftime or making adjustments. They have a knack for winning close games, and they have a very balanced offense and a balanced, fast defense. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They, um, on offensively, they can beat you anyway. They can, they showed last week that they can grind it out. Connor Hebert had you know over 160 yards rushing. We know that they can bomb the ball with Kelleher to Abbott or Kelleher to Lindquist and Cooney. So they can certainly throw it deep. And they also like to do the little dump passes, the little kind of West Coast offense there where they they dump it. And then defensively, this is as good a defense as I've seen. 
Hopkinton known for its defense throughout the years, Don, but I agree this one's probably the best I've seen. Um, it's so fa they're so fast. And they're not doing it with big boys. They're not they're not the biggest guys you've ever seen, but they're all they're all athletic and they're all tough. They're all yeah, they, they, they bring a toughness. They play with a chip on their shoulder and um, it's a fun defense to watch because they they gang tackle and um, and they're smart. They're really never out of position. So looks like I would assume that we – I didn't see who won the toss, but it looks like Hopkinton's kicking off, so we'll see that defense right to start here. Melrose will receive. Heading left to right on your screen. We're going to get a look at that Hopkinton defense right away, Don. Rob Pagluca to kick it off for the Hillers. That's uh, Brendan Kelly. Oh, Brendan Kelly. Kick to about the 20-yard line, received by Melrose. Returned out to about the 37, 38-yard line. That was a short kick. Brendan's been kicking pretty well all year, but that didn't. That landed at about the 20. Um, Melrose kid took it up, and uh, it looked like um, Cal Cousins on the tackle, number 51. Um, the Hillers play most of their starting defense on kickoff coverage, so right. they, they don't get a, a lot of returns. Hopkinton led on defense, Don, by number eight, Mike Ionelli, Tar Valley League player, defensive player of the year. A lot of accolades these kids got, which we'll get into for sure. Handoff. Looks like the quarterback keeper here. About a six or seven yard game by number 12, Charlie Stanton. Charlie Stanton, I'd like to check his size because he, uh, he's, a big kid. he's a big boy, 6'1", 210. He, running, running behind what looks to be a pretty big offensive line. Yep, yeah, yep, yep, yeah. and they got a good push there. So, you know, Hitler started a little slow last week. They, they gave up a touchdown on the opening play. Let's try and not let that happen here. Looks like a jet sweep to number four. Turns the corner. Looks like he's going to have enough for a first down. That's Isaac Seed. Junior. Somebody came up and made a good stick there. I'm thinking it was Ian Nelly. Um, they did get the edge on Hopkinton, which has been difficult for teams to do all year because of our speed. Looks like Melrose is one of those grinded out teams, Don. It's another carry by number four. Short game that time. Maybe two or three. Yeah, gang, gang tackled by the Hopkinton line. Yeah, there wasn't much of a push on that play. Um, it looked like uh, both Brown boys were in on it. Yeah, it looked like 45 Ryan Brown in on the tag. That'll be up second and eight for Melrose. Quarterback keeper again. Hopkinson sniffs it out this time. Yeah, this kid looks like he's not afraid to stick it, you know, under his arm and run. We haven't seen him try to pass. We may see that here at uh, on third and seven. And, and, you know, this is kind of like a home game. We've got, uh, we're controlling the music. I think we're announcing the game. I think that's Prescott down here. So I love it. We were designated the home team, I think, uh, by a coin flip, Jay, uh, before the year. The North and the South flipped a coin and third South won. Third and six from Melrose. Quarterback back to throw with a quick screen pass and it tackles immediately. Looks like Will Abbott in on that tackle. Yeah, that was just a just a swing pass to the running back and Will was all over it. And that was a great open field tackle and a big stop for the Hillers. Melrose will punt from just about midfield. Will Abbott back to receive the punt for the Hillers. Ooh. Punt is almost blocked. Will Abbott looks like he's going to return this one. Turns the corner, takes it up the sideline to about the 35. Ian Ellie almost had that ball. He, he almost had that block. I'll tell you what, they they want to. Um, Coach McLean's telling him to keep his hands together. He might have gotten that thing. Yeah. All right, we're going to see uh, Hopkins in offense here, led by Ryan Kelleher, Don. Ryan Kelleher, uh, the younger brother of Jake Kelleher, who quarterbacked the program for a few years. Yep. Um, Ryan, you know, TVL first team all-star as a junior. Been very impressive all year. Looks like he's in the back with uh, Connor Hebert. Quick screen pass, looks like to Will Abbott. A nice game. 
Ridden out of bounds by the Melrose defense. It looked like a gain of eight or nine yards. Yeah, but that's one thing you don't want to be doing. You don't want to be le leaving your feet. <laughs> For all you young players that out there, don't leave your feet. That's a good way to get hurt. And that's the, la that's the wrong kid that you want to get hurt today is, is number two. You need Will Abbott for sure. Yep. Bring up second and short for the Hillers at about their own 39-yard line. It was break the huddle. Looks like a spread offense. Ball snapped to Kelleher. He's back to throw. And Ryan Kelleher is going to be sacked. Melrose the play by number 76, Dylan Robertson. Dylan Robertson for the Melrose defense. It almost looked like they were trying to set up a screen pass because he got in there really quick. He came in untouched, and he's 265 pounds with a big wide wingspan, and, and Ryan just couldn't get away from him. Yeah, no, it, um, that, that looked like a disaster right from the start, and it puts the Hillers in third and long here. Looks like third and 11 for the Hillers. Kelleher and Abbott in the backfield. Ball snapped, Kelleher back to throw. It's like he has a, a completion. Linquist. Looks like Matt Linquist with the catch for a Hiller first down. Yeah, that uh, the line the line gave great protection that time to Ryan. He was able to set his feet in the pocket, yep. threw a nice ball. Uh, Linquist kind of settled in in the soft spot of the zone right there, and and Ryan hit him. It was a little behind him. That was kind of a, that was a tough catch. The pass was incomplete. It was. Looks like he did catch it. Hopkins him back to punt. Wait, what? Okay. Rugby style kick from the Hockenden Hillers. A great punt rolling out. Looks like all the way down to the Melrose 20, 19 even. Okay, well, I guess you know we, we don't have we don't have the benefit of replay here, unfortunately. So I, uh, I it looked like to me he caught it. It must have bounced out at the last minute, Jay, and didn't come down with it. So he was hit pretty well. Melrose taking over at their own 19 after it looked like about a 40-yard punt by Brendan Kelly. Brendan Kelly's been punting really well all year. Been a good special teams player for a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah, he he kicked last year as a sophomore. And, uh, you know, that's what you need when you're a 10-0 team. You need all three phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams to be clicking. Keeper by, looks like a quarterback keeper by Merrill Stanton. He's gobbled up quickly. Uh, they, they don't hesitate to put this kid in harm's way, I'll tell you that. I mean, we, we talked about his size, but, you know, he's going to keep running the ball. Let's get some helmets on him, yep. maybe, maybe make him think twice next time. Gain of about a yard looked like um, looked like 45, Brown in on the tackle again. Yeah, he made a nice swim move there and got uh, got right by that center. He's quick off the ball, Look for 45. both Brown brothers on defense today, Don, both TVL first-team All-Stars. This whole defense is TVL All-Stars. And well-deserved. Yep, big time. It's like time. quarterback keeper again. Throws it at the last second. Complete. Pass complete to Melrose number seven. Cameron Steve Rosie. Rosie. Senior. Tackled on the play by. Looks like a first down from Melrose. Yeah, the quarterback kind of stepped out of trouble there. Hillers kind of flushed him a little bit. He did a nice job stepping up and found the open guy for the for the first down. Nice play by Melrose offense. Give him first down at their own 30, 31 yard line. Ball oh, snap. Low snap. And that is going to be a big loss on the play for Melrose on the bad snap. Ball was covered up by Cap by Captain Colin Kiernan. Yeah, that's a, that's that's big time right there. And that that is something you you know, from the center position if you're running the shotgun, it, it really it's got to be automatic. You can't have plays like that. And Hopkinton, you have Theo Cavallo over there with uh, for the Hillers hasn't missed a snap all year. So second and 17 from Melrose. So got a handoff to number four, Isaac Seed, and a gain of about maybe one, one yard at most. Is that Hop Hopkinson defense just swarms them? They, they get 11 kids to the ball every time. They, you know, there's nobody standing around waiting for somebody else to make the play. They all want to make the play. They've uh, they've thrown a few shutouts this year, Don, the Hopkins defense. Three or four that I can think of. <laughs> they've, got, they've got more shutouts than they have teams that scored on them. I, I know that. They At one point, I think they had four or five in a row. Third and long from Melrose. Back to throw. Holding. Oh, nice job. Screen pass broken up by number 24, Matt Brown. 
Yeah, Matt Matt did a nice job there. He was being held by that left tackle. It didn't look like it looked like the ref was gonna let that go. But Ryan did a nice job. You know, he's not the biggest kid, but he got some height he's there. He's fast and he's good and he's been in the backfield all year. All year. He got he got some height there, knocked that down. That was a huge play. Now I'd like to see Will get an opportunity to return this here. Melrose back to punt. Punt out to about the Hawkinton 42-yard line. Returned by Abbott. Not much of a return, maybe a couple, but Hawkinton have good field position here at their own 46-yard line. Yeah, Will fielded that cleanly, but Melrose was down pretty quickly to cover it, and uh, he tried to make one quick move that didn't work, and, you know, it was not much of a return, but we've got good field position here starting at about our own 47-yard line. As you get into November, Don, field position starts to become more and more important. Harder to throw that slick ball. Big time. You know, this is nice, though, Jay. You know, Friday Night Lights is one thing, and it's certainly awesome, but it's, it, I like day football here. A little here. warmer this is during nice. the day. Oh, yeah. Kelleher back, hands it to Hebert. He bounces it inside, makes one cut, makes a nice move. Pickup of about six. Nice running by Connor Hebert. Hey, Connor kind of just picked a hole there. He uh, wasn't much there, but he found a little crease in between the left tackle and left guard and uh, got six yards out of it. So yeah, that's, a, that's a nice start. Four, second and four for the Hill is inside Melrose territory. With about four and a half minutes left here in the first quarter. Snap to Kelleher, again to Hebert. Bounces it to the outside, breaks a tackle, and is dragged down from behind so by, by number seven, Cameron Rosie. Yeah, that was a nice, um, that was a nice job by Cameron Rosie, number seven, by Melrose. Um, you know, Connor was kind of hitting the backfield. He tried to get through with the stiff arm, and then uh, Rosen just came up, and made a nice, solid tackle. So this, uh, yeah, third and about four here, Jay. I don't know if you're looking at it. Possibly two down territory, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what they get here, I guess. Hopkinson lining up. Again, Hebert and Kelleher in the backfield with Abbott wide. Snap to Kelleher, back to throw. Here comes a blitz by number seven, Rosie, and Kelleher is down. Yeah, well, okay, so now we're definitely punting. Um, yeah, Ryan didn't didn't feel that. Um, no, and he didn't have much of a chance. Rosie nah. came in on the looked like a corner blitz, untouched. It was untouched. It wasn't picked up. Um, by uh, by Connor, Connor was was the lead blocker there. Um, he didn't see him come in, so that was just lucky that that Ryan held onto the ball there. He could easily fumble. Kelly back to punt. Another nice kick by Kelly. Really nice kick. Oh, that ball is fielded by Melrose. Flag on the play. That's good enough. Melrose takes it back to about the 14 yard line, but there's going to be a flag here, probably against Melrose. Yeah, I think they're going to push them back here. Well, we can see both of these defenses establishing themselves early here, Don. Well, this time, this time of year, that's that's what you that usually you'll see the better defenses, you know, still playing. Cameron Rosie on Melrose already establishing himself as a force today. Yeah, we're going to have to watch him. A couple of tackles. Hopkinton's going to have to figure out a plan for him. Well, the, the, uh, you had the um, – he came in untouched there, so it's going to be something that um, the coaches up here – got the Hopkinton coaches up here. I'm sure they'll be communicating down with uh, Coach Gerard and Coach Sullivan. To It'll be first down for Melrose at their own seven. And, Don, I know Hopkinton's defense has scored a few times this year when they've had teams back. Handoff to number four, Isaac Seed, swarmed on by the Hopkins defense. Yeah, again, you had Linquist come in there, like and Deloya then in on the and Deloya, and then you had Ionelli come in and just clean it up. You, you always have three, three, four kids to the they ball. They are, they are quick to the ball. Never out of position either. That was another uh, kind of sketchy snap there too. Yeah. It's like a sweep to number four seed, and he is brought down by number 24. He's brought down by Matt Brown. Matt Brown with a great start today. Yeah, Matt's not giving up that edge on that play. I think they got him around him uh, early in the game, but he held his ground there, and I think he was being held. I thought I saw a flag get thrown, or was that the guy marking the ball? Oh, what are we doing here? Looks like there might be a flag against Hopkinson here. Yeah, Maybe personal a face foul. Mask. It's going to be a first down for Melrose on the personal foul. 
The face mask penalty against Hopkinson. Face mask Resulting penalty, I, I would assume down. it's against um, Ryan Brown. At the 24 yard line. On the I saw him throw it, so mu that, it must have been on Ryan. He's Matt got Brown, his hand sorry. up there. It's easy okay. to get these Brown brothers I just call them the Brown boys. <laughs> They're both making plays. They are. Melrose back to throw. Oh, pass broken up. Pass is broken up by number six. Cooney. And Shane Cooney broke that up. Yeah, Shane, um, the, you know, Hillers flushed them again. Now, who threw that? That's not this. They, they must have two quarterbacks. Because number eight threw that. Here yeah, comes number 12 coming back, back in. in okay. That's interesting. So they look like they're rotating some quarterbacks here. Jack Sullivan must come in for a couple of sets. They have a package for him. But 12 back in the game. Charlie Stanton. Cooney did a nice job breaking that pass up. I thought they might get him for coming over the back, but it doesn't look like he made contact. Looks like a reverse by Melrose. <laughs> Hawkinson just too fast. Matt Brown all over that play. It'll be a loss of about three. Yeah, trick plays do not work um, against the Hillers because they're, all, they're in position, and they're fast. They can recover quickly. Uh, Alex McDonald kind of got uh, teed up there by um, – He did, a good block by good Melrose block. there. But, uh, you know, Lucky looks, Alex had a bunch of kids there behind him to help him out. So Melrose having a tough time running the ball down against this Hopkins in defense. I, you know, Jay, I've watched. This is probably – I've been working overtime this year with this gig, with all these home games these kids have gotten. Um, I haven't seen anybody able to move the ball on them. That included Holliston. Holliston, they got eight points off of us, but it wasn't. They didn't really move the ball. Third and long for Melrose. Stanton back to throw. Hits number four, Seen, but he's going to be short, yeah, it looks like. Uh, looks like they may give it to him. That's going to be a first down. That yeah, is going to be a first down. Nice play there by Stanton. Yeah, he had Canal kind of flushed them out of the pocket. Uh, Number 20, Chris Canal was in there for a play. Flushed them out, and uh, but the, he made a nice throw on the run and, and got a big first down big from Melrose. Big play by Melrose. Gets him in much better field position. Hand off to Forcine on the right side. He breaks a tackle. Ball, Fumbles the ball. football. Get that ball. Fumble on the play. It looks like Melrose got it back. Uh, Brown had it. Looked like 24 had it in his hands. Yep. And then... Um, yeah, you know, somebody put a nice stick on him. Uh, he, yeah. you know, he made a, you know, again, he's another kid leaping with the ball in the air. You know, I don't know why these never kids. Never works out. Uh, they, they play too much Madden, I think, Jay. You know, they, they're playing too much Madden. <laughs> It'll be another first down for Melrose at their own 45-yard line. Looks like they, they're bringing in their other quarterback here. Is this uh, Sullivan again, Don, or is this, yeah, it looks like Sullivan in, in for Melrose, a QB. Snap again, a handoff to the big guy, sign of smothered immediately by number 51. Kyle Cousins. Yeah, Hebert and Cousins. Hebert. Yeah, Hebert was in there too. Um, you know, this is, you know, I'm kind of old school, Jay, in that I always, you know, if you have two quarterbacks, you got zero, you know. I'm always more of a, you know, give the ball to one kid and try and make it happen. Yeah, but unless you're running a wildcat package and you have a specific kid who can run the really run the ball, there's no sense of having two kids who do the same thing. Well, does that that number, the big guy there, he doesn't look like he's much of a threat speed or anything, no. you know? He kind of reminds me of that, what was that Kentucky quarterback a few years back, the big guy, the big lefty. Right, right. <laughs> That's what this guy reminds me of. But I don't know, he, I, I have, has he thrown the ball or has number eight been doing all the throwing? They've only thrown twice. So that'll do it for the first quarter. 0-0 zero, zero score and what looks like it's going to be a defensive slugfest here today. Well, games like this uh, between two undefeated teams, it always comes down to the little things. And that could be, you know, a turnover, which Melrose really dodged a bullet right there. Melrose has dodged a couple of bullets so far with a bad snap and a fumble on that last play. Yep, starting down here in their own end. So the Hillers, you know, I, I don't want this to come back and bite the Hillers here. You've got to take advantage of these things. You know, you get a low snap, you know, you get a loose ball, you've got to jump on this. And, you know, we need some breaks here. It'll be second down at about 13 for Melrose. 
the handoff straight up the middle. Again, alternating quarterbacks from Melrose. Here by number four, Isaac Seed. Isaac Seed with the carry. Looked like he got about eight or nine yards there. Brought down by Hebert. Yeah, the line had a nice push there, and he found a seam right in the middle and uh, got about four yards. Now we're, we're sitting here in another big third down for the Hiller defense. Third, third and long from Melrose, just, at a, just short of midfield. I can tell you, we're not respecting their deep ball. We're, we're oh. up tight. Another hand off the seed, breaks one tackle. Breaks another tackle and stretches that play out. Got a lot more out of that than he thought he would, Don. Yeah, the, uh, the, we had that. Uh, you had Brown out here. You had Ionelli. Um, I thought they were going to string it out, but uh, he made a nice little stiff arm. Has a little bit more speed than, than I think we thought he did. Yeah, he, he looks like one of those kids, Don, when he gets a little space, he's got another gear. Yeah. And you think you have an angle and you really don't and he turns a four-yard play into a 12-yard play, and that's exactly what he did there. Yeah, he, uh, he, looks, he looks like he definitely could be a weapon here for Melrose. And, um, you know, the Hillers have got to make sure they, uh, they have some short tackling here. So what's going on? Is there a penalty? Looks like there's a penalty against Melrose. Okay. I didn't see a flag. Uh -uh. Hard to figure out what's going on here. Got the black hole. Got the black hole. Got the the new ver the new, the new generation of the black hole. Yeah. Oh, they're measuring. Ah, uh, he must have stepped out of bounds. He's gonna be a good yard short. Oh yeah. Going to bring up fourth and short for Melrose at their own, at the Hopkinton 46 yard line. Let's see what Melrose chooses to do here on fourth and short. I, I didn't see any new personnel come in, so my nope. guess is they're going to be running the ball here. And look how close we're playing. Safety's got Abbott up close, got Inelli up close. Usually we're back a little bit further. Three man backfield for Melrose. On fourth at about a yard. Oh, somebody moved. Either that was either them or Penalty us. Penalty on the play. That could have been 40. I don't know. Unless he was drawn off, we were offside. Might have got Hopkinson on the hard count. Yep, offsides on the, the defense. Yeah. It'll be a first down for Melrose, and that's uh, you see a lot more of that in football now, Don, where teams are implementing the hard count on short yardage, and it's a smart play. Absolutely, it is, and, and you know the Hillers were they were kind of jumping around there. I mean, you've got to trying to make them move, and then we ended up jumping. So, all right, first down. Let's go. We need to stop. Another low snap. Another low snap. Carry by Seen, maybe a yard. Melrose is going to have to figure out how to snap the ball here. Well, you know, you got the brown kid on him who's very quick off the ball, doing nice swim moves and whatnot. Um, and that's the at least the third bad snap that we've seen. So yeah. we got to keep an eye out for that. Those snaps throwing the timing off on these running plays. And Melrose clearly a run first team. Jack Sullivan in a quarterback from Melrose in the backfield with Kiernan. The fake jet sweep and a keeper by Sullivan breaks one tackle, gain of about three. From, uh, number eight, Jack Sullivan. They doubled at the point of attack, got a little bit of push off the Hiller defensive line there. The linebacker Linquist came in and made a nice hard stick and setting up third down and third looks and like five. five. Third and five from Melrose, who are grinding away here at the Hopton in defense. Hand off to C, number four, again on that left side. Turns the corner again. Looks like he's going to be about a Very half nice a yard seat. short. Yeah, Abbott came up and made a nice tackle, but uh, he did get the edge there. And it looked like the same play that they had run before. Yeah, they do like that play, that that. It looks like they're getting the some, yeah, they're getting some good blocking on the edges here. So it's going to be third and short, fourth and short, maybe a, a, a foot or so. All right, they got the big quarterback in here, number 12. Yep, Charlie, uh, Charlie Stanton back in the game for the short yardage. Seems to be about fourth and a foot. C 
see if Hopkins can, can have the discipline to, to avoid that hard count this time. I would anticipate a keeper, though, by Stanton here. Well, they're going to hand it to the same kid. Yeah. He turns a corner, gets a yard, gets another yard. Breaks a tackle. He is a load. Well, yeah, you know, we had him stopped in the backfield. I think that was Brown that, that kind of, you know, made contact with him in the backfield. It was a slow developing run play. Um, but this kid's a strong runner. I mean, you, you, you can't be tackling his shoulder pads. Just go down and tackle his ankles, he's not his a tall, knees. He's not a tall kid, but he is big, and he's tough to bring down. And he, he's one of those backs that bounces off. Yeah, you, and he and he looks like he's got an effective stiff arm. So, you know, you got to go low on this kid. You can't be tackling his shoulder pads. It'll be first down at about the 14-yard line for Melrose. Misdirection. A little misdirection kept by, ended off to 32, Good Kieran in the fullback. He gets down to about the six. It's a good play there by Melrose, Don, to uh, use the Hopkinton aggression against them. Yeah. You know, Jay, I think you're right here as far as them just looking to run the ball. I, we're not respecting their pass, it doesn't look like, and they're not even kind of attempting to pass. So They pass when they have to. That seems to be about it. That's about it. Again, four seen up the middle. Gets down to it looks like about the two or three yard line. Ionelli with the tackle. They can still get a first down here. Yeah, it's third and short. At about the three yard line, they need to get to about the two and a half. The carry is good for a first down. First, that's a first down for Melrose on a very favorable oh, spot. Okay, that was a very favorable spot. First and I goal to three. One. And it's goal line stand time for the Hillers. Stanton under center, hands it to Scene. He breaks a tackle and a very good play by number two, Will Abbott. Abbott and again, you know, the 24, Ryan Brown. Um, Abbott and Brown on the tackle, looks like a loss of about a yard. They are not able to get Brown's outside shoulder and he is, you know, he's holding that edge. Um, no, Melrose going to the well, a little too, little too often yeah. with that play. Yeah. To bring up second, second and goal from the four. Handoff inside the, the scene this time. He is not going to get in. He's down to about the two. Now they're not getting that much of a push that they're. I, mean, I guess they got third down here, so. Be third and about a yard and a half for Melrose. Looks like Melrose is making some personnel changes. Stanton back in at quarterback with a short yardage. He handed off last time, so we, you know, he, uh, we haven't seen him do a sneak here. He might be a little too far to do a sneak. It's third, and third and about a, a long yard here. Oh, oh he is. keeps it right up the middle, and he is in uh, for the score. Charlie, Charlie Stanton with a quarterback touchdown. sneak. Made a nice push there, the offensive line. He Looks just like kind of. center and the guard got a good push, and he yep. just, they wedged it right in. Yep. And uh, Charlie, he's a big guy, so he uh, he got his weight going in one direction, and that was going to be tough for the Hillers to stop. So, okay, there you go. So now uh, now it's 6 nothing. Here's a, a, an extra point. It would be nice to block this. These extra points tend to loom large in these games. I know he Kicks almost got it. 7 nothing, Melrose on a long drive. Looked to be about a seven- or eight-minute drive for Melrose there. I mean, was that? I mean, I know sometimes how space out in these games, but was that the drive that started down it, it, at our own? Uh, uh, was that a? It was. Wow. So that, that's that drive, like a 90. That drive started in the first yeah, quarter and ended right. about halfway through the second quarter. Yeah. So, you know, obviously Melrose is proving that they're they're a tough team and they can grind it out and, um, you know, they can be uh, out physical the Hillers, which we uh, have not seen anybody been able to do. Um, so moving forward, just defensively, the Hillers are going to have to have some negative plays. They're going to have, you know, on first down, second down, they're going to have to kind of sell out on this run, too. You know, you might have bit. to do some run blitzing. or have to see the old gap eight done. <laughs> gap eight would do the trick, Jay. The gap eight would definitely do the trick. <laughs> Melrose kicking off. 
with maybe the biggest kicker I've ever seen in my life. Though. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Number 66, David Quinones. Kicking off from Melrose. Low kick. Looks like return from the 20. Looks like Brown with the ball. Yeah, Brown grabbed it. He's going to be gobbled up at about the 28, 29 yard line. And we will see the Hopkins in offense. It's been a while. Yeah, I mean, we've gotten some first downs, but we, uh, Hellers haven't really been able to establish much um, offensively yet. You've got uh, you got an offensive line. You got we mentioned Cavallo if they're doing a nice job at center. You've got uh, Noah Butello at uh, guard. You've got uh, Kyle Stuckel at guard. You got Alex McDonald at one tackle and and Powers at the other tackle. Handoff to Hebert. No, nope, well. Oh, sorry, Will Abbott, who breaks a tackle, and that'll be good for a Hopkins in first down. You know, that looked like a play that we really haven't seen yet. That it was, it was Will coming on the jet, but it, it looked like some sort of fake to to Connor, who I thought had the ball too. Yeah. But no, they had, gave it to the gave it to Will. Get your ball to your playmakers. And they've done a good job with that. You know, you had referenced it, you know getting cold and harder to throw. Um, it was cold last week against um, Milton. And uh, and we ran the ball, and, and, and Abbott got a bunch of carries. First down for the Hills at their own 40. Kelleher to snap it. Hands off to Abbott again, it looks like. Breaks a tackle. Leaves his feet. Gets to a gets about a five-yard gain. But I'd say it's a good play by Will Abbott. Well, he made something out of nothing there. I mean, he was hitting the backfield. Um, they had penetration right off the bat by two guys. Hebert was able to block one of the guys. The other guy put a nice tackle on Will, but Will just kept his feet moving, got out of it, did a little skip jump there, and got, got five yards out of it, which could have been a negative play. That'll bring up second and five for the Hillers, just short of midfield. You've got to take advantage of this Kelleher, field position. Kelleher under center with Hebert in the backfield. Abbott in motion. They fake the jet sweep, give it to Hebert, who gets about three on the play. It'll be third and short. Looks like uh, Melrose is respecting our ability to pass. They've got a, yeah. a, 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 a guy kind of deep there. Looks like he's shading over Abbott. Um, so, you know, what we're doing here is if you're going to play, you know, a, a deep safety, we're going to try and run the ball on you, which has been effective so far. You don't get to be 10-0 and 0 without a balanced offense, Don. Nope. Hopkinson definitely has that. And oh, if yeah. you're going to play the pass, then we'll just, they'll just run Hebert all day on you. Got a stack right over here. Stack right. Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert. Kelleher rolls to his right. Throws, and it looks like an incomplete pass intended for number seven. DeLoya. Incomplete to DeLoya. Kelleher hurried on the play a little bit. Yeah, you know, he uh, Ryan has been throwing the ball so well all year, and he, he throws the ball very well on the run. Um, that looked like it just came off his hand a little rough, and it, yep. was, just, it was just an inaccurate pass, and, and uh, Nick, uh, Luke DeLoya had, had no chance for that. So it sets up a big fourth down here. Fourth down and two for the Hillers. You know, you're, you're sitting here, you know, you, you might want to think about field position. Yep. You know, I don't know, but we'll see. Here we go. Let's go, line. Kelleher and shotgun with Hebert in the backfield. Snaps the ball, rolls to his right again. This time a great throw right on the money to Abbott. Keeping both feet in bounds. That'll be a first down for the Hillers. Really a nice, nice body control there by Will Abbott on the catch. And another, a very, as you said, a very accurate throw that time by Kelleher. And, and, and you know, they have run that play a lot. Um, they have run that play a, a lot this year. Kelleher rolling out, throws it so well. Abbott just runs that little, you know, eight-yard out. Uh, and make no mistake, Don, Will Abbott, a great athlete, a Quinnipiac uh, lacrosse commit since 10th grade. No, he's, he knows he's, how to make plays. Yeah, he's a great athlete. Here's the pitch to Abbott again. This time he is stopped at the line by that big by Melrose Abbott. defensive line. Yeah, they definitely have some size there. Number 72 looks like a 30, pretty big 32, boy. 32, the, um, the fullback, Kiernan, he's a good inside backer too, and 77's a big, strong kid. And You're going to have to make your blocks to run the ball on this team. Got a lot of 200, you know, you kind of scan down the, the weights here. You got 260, 250, 230, 265, 
235. <laughs> Some yep, big, big boys team. over there. Kelleher in the shotgun, second and 10. A little Statue of Liberty action. Yeah, a little fake and a, a handoff to Will Abbott. Again, smell, that is sniffed out by the Melrose defense and looked like no gain on the play. Number four, Isaac Seen on the tackle. Two-way player for Melrose. Yeah, that's been a um, – that, that was the first time I ever, I've seen that, the Hillers run that type of play there. Little, little wrinkle by Coach Gerard for the uh, – for the Eastern Mass Championship game. Uh, believe me, they'll have more, more tricks up their sleeve here as the game goes, I would think. That'll bring up a third, about nine for Hopkinson at the Melrose 43-yard line. In what has been a very fast first half. Well, not a lot of passing, just a lot of grinded out. Only two minutes, 2.45 left. Kelleher in the shotgun, back to throw. He has time. Going deep, wide, wide open. open for Will Abbott. He's going to take it in for a touchdown for the Hillers. All right, so so there you go. That's what that's what running the ball effectively is going to do for you, Jay. It kind of pulls their safety up. We law them to sleep, and there's Will Abbott, who I have no idea how you're letting him wander in the middle Uncovered of the field. The middle Uncovered. Of the field. And, uh, I mean, I think I, 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 Kelleher was just couldn't get him the ball fast enough. He couldn't believe how wide open he is. Good Huge protection. touchdown. Good protection by the O-line. A perfect play Excellent. resulting in a touchdown. And now Rob Pagliuca on the kick, the extra point. I'm not sure we're, we're not going, going for two, two here. Looks we're like look, they're going for two. We're going for two. I'll tell you what. You know what? Coach Gerard, he, you got to give him credit. He does not come here, to, you know, to play it safe. No, you know, even doesn't. that He's fourth down right here. here, that fourth down we had right here, that's a big call. This is a huge call. Here we go, Hawkinson gambling early here in this game, going for two. Kelleher under center, hands it to Abbott who throws a pop pass in the end zone, and that is going to be caught by, looks like, Linquist. That was Linquist. And the gamble pays off for the Hillers, and they take an 8-7 lead. Well-designed play, well executed by there by Will Abbott. And, you know, they've, they've tried the pitch play. Uh, they, they executed in, in, I guess, in Wayland the first game of the year. Abbott hit uh, somebody deep. And um, and I've seen them try and run a, a, pa a pitch pass one other time. That was obviously something that they had seen on film and said, you know what, we get an opportunity to run a two-point play. This thing's going to be wide open. And, and it was. So there we go, Jay. We got uh, two thirty-four left. I love it. And we get the ball at the... Hopkinson will receive the, the ball to start the second yeah. half, and, and Melrose with two minutes left. Tough to grind out a drive with two minutes left. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, if you get a lead here and try and force them to, you know, get out of their game, which is just grinded, let's, it'll be interesting to see if they can throw the ball on us. Brendan Kelly with the kick, short kick, going to be received by number one at the 30-yard line. He makes a cut, takes it up to about the 35. And I think Ball. he may have lost that football. It was, a, hit. It was a, a big hit, I can tell you right now. And look at this, 24 Brown. This kid's all over the place, man. Hopkins has the football, Don. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're in business, baby. That's a huge. That's huge. This that's is the a first big mistake of this football game by Melrose. The first turnover. Hopkinson in business. This is a, a, a big time opportunity here, Jay. Okay, we're down seven nothing. Score, okay, go up eight seven. Now we have the opportunity to finish off the half with the ball and, and then get the ball it. back in the third quarter. That's right out of you the can Patriots playbook. Take control of this game right now. Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert in the backfield. Snap to Abbott. He drops the football. That play never got off the ground, Don. A ah, little bit, little bit too much misdirection. I didn't see if if Ryan handed Will the ball. Or it looked like he kind of tossed it, and Will never really had a handle on it, and uh, it took a bounce right into the right into the uh, Melrose's player's uh, gut, and that was an easy recovery. For so Hopkins gives the ball right back to Melrose. Okay. Probably feels like they have the momentum now. Yeah, I mean that's uh That was a gift. Now you got you gotta stop them here. Stanton in the shotgun back, hands at the scene. And he is just swallowed up by that Hopkinson line. Matt Brown and Ionelli on the tackle. I'm not sure why they continue to go to Brown's side. I mean, I don't know. Matt Brown is establishing himself as a dominant defensive force on this team in the last few weeks. And um, if teams are going to keep going at them, they're going to keep getting no yards. 
Again, Stanton in the shotgun with Seen in the backfield. Snap, handoff, play action. Going long. That pass is incomplete. Intended for number one. Oh, sorry, number 11, Patrick Breton. Shane Cooney on the coverage. Uh, he was running with them step for step. Shane uh, Cooney with that six-two frame and those long arms. Tough to get a tough to get a ball past him. Yeah, he uh, he he was running with them the whole time. It looks like the I thought the Melrose guy was doing a little bit of pushing, a little too much pushing there. But uh, little hand jostled on both sides, probably a good no call by the referees. Yeah, yeah, you like you like to see that. That'll bring up third and long from Melrose. Looks like Jim Gerard may get the ball back. Well, they have all the timeouts they need in the world. I don't think there's been a timeout yet at all. So we're going to have five to play with if they can get uh, get out of this third and 11 here. Third and long, Stanton. Stanton in the shotgun with Seen. Play action fake again. Procedure. It's like a procedure call against Melrose. We'll push him back another five yards. That'll make it third to about 16. The five yard penalty against Melrose. The third and 16 for Melrose from their own 31 yard line. I think if you're Melrose here, Don, you may just want to grind this clock out and get into halftime down one. Yeah, they're going to have a tough time grinding it out here. I mean, they certainly don't want to stop it on an incomplete pass, but the Hillers, I would think, would take a timeout immediately. There oh, we go. Another, another man on Melrose jumps. Huh. They're pushing back five more. Well, right now, Jay, I mean, you know, Melrose came in with all the uh, the pedigree uh, as far as, you know, being the Gillette two out of three years and whatnot, but it looks like the Hillers are the one handling this stage a little bit better right now. Yeah, Melrose looks like at the end of this half they're starting to lose a little composure. It's about third and 25 at this point for Melrose. Stanton back to throw. Throws it deep down the right sideline again. That's going to be incomplete. Melrose is going to have to punt the ball, and the Hillers are going to get it back with a minute and a half. Probably Ton of with, time. Probably with decent field position. Yeah, and five timeouts. So, again, they, you know, they, they're getting the that opportunity that we were looking for prior to that fumble um, is to put a score in and then and they get the ball back to start the third quarter. So the Hillers do have an opportunity to still take control of this game right here. And, and by the look of that, Jay, I'm not going to be too worried about Melrose passing. Good punt by Melrose, a very oh, good punt. Oh, man, come on. Scooped up by Abbott, returns it out, and he is forced out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. Great punt by Melrose. Yeah, he, he punted that thing farther than I think anybody thought he could, including big Will. Bounce. Just got over the head of Will Abbott. Low, low piercing line drive punt. Hopkins will take over at their own 27-yard line. Let's see what Kelleher can do here with a minute and 25 seconds left. Let's see if Coach Sullivan has uh, got a two-minute offense the Hopkins and Hillers have right here. Kelleher under center with Hebert in the backfield. Abbott in motion, the handoffs to Hebert. He breaks a tackle and then is tripped up for it looks like a loss of one, tackled by 32 Kiernan. Yeah, he, that was a, I'll tell you what, that was a nice shoestring, shoestring tackle that that kid made there. Yeah, or, or Hebert could have been go off to the races. Yeah. That'll make it second and about 11, clock running. Jim Gerard choosing not to use his timeouts here. Looks like he just wants to get in at halftime with a, with a one-point lead and the ball. Snap again, handoff to Hebert, running to his right. Breaks a tackle, takes it down to about the 42, 43 yard line. Looks like it'll be enough for a first down. Good patient running there by Connor Hebert. Yeah, and, and they're they're not showing. Um, again, Jim Gerard electing not to stop the clock here. No. Nope. He's content to go. Oh, wait, no, they just called a timeout now, okay. 
Timeout for Hopkinton with 20 seconds, 27 seconds remaining. Maybe time for a couple of uh, couple of long throws down the middle of the field. Well, they, uh, I guess the coach just, you know, once they got that long punt, our field position wasn't that great. So um, Coach Gerard, Coach Sullivan just um, kind of, you know, made the decision. Let's let's try and get a first down run of the ball, give ourselves a little bit more room. But yeah, I agree here. I mean. Yeah, you don't want to give up, give up an easy turnover, but uh, it wouldn't hurt to take a shot here with some, Got some Abbott. throws. Looks like Abbott and Deloy on the right side. Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert. He's back to throw. Plenty of time to throw. Now he's flushed out. Throws it down the field out of bounds, avoiding the sack. Yeah, Ryan, uh, Ryan was kind of flushed there and um, really was just trying to get, get rid of the ball and uh, threw it out of bounds so nobody could catch it, which was a good call. Good play to avoid the sack and live to throw another one. With about 20 seconds left, Hopkinton at their own 37-yard line. Second down and 10. Got a good crowd here today on both sides of the ball. Both schools well represented. Keller on the shotgun with Hebert in the backfield. Handoff is to Hebert. He breaks a tackle and gets about a four-yard gain. Number 23, Hebert. Tackle play by number 51. Okay. Hopkinson with another timeout. 15 seconds left. Time for maybe two more plays. Huh. Well, you're setting up a third down. You know, you want to you want to make sure you don't have to punt the ball. Right. Um, and give them an opportunity with, with the ball here. So um, kind of curious to see what the, uh, what the thinking was leading up to this. But, you know, I don't know. Let's see if we get a first down. Get a first down in midfield, then you throw your bomb. Looks like the Neshoba team is here scouting. It does look like the Neshoba. Can't miss those uh, Neshoba letter jackets. They nope. look just like ours. Yep, they're Only down with there. with an N instead of an H. Yep. Anxiously... Uh, awaiting to see who they're going to play. Here we go. Third down and six for Hawkinson. Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert in the backfield. Klingquist in motion. Snap to Keller, he is back to throw. He is launching a ball down the middle of the field and that ball is oh. caught by Will Abbott somehow. What a great play by Will Abbott. Yeah, that, you know, that, that kind of gave me uh, some memories back to Thanksgiving a couple years ago when he caught that tip ball there for the touchdown. Um, he was interfered with there, too. That safety came up and hit yeah, him before the like ball arrived. No flag, but Will said, okay, I'll do the job, uh, you know, without the flag. And Now Hopkinton has a chance of throwing in the end zone here, Don. So how many times? So was that their third one that they just took right there? So that, that's going to leave us. The reason I'm asking here is we can run a little out or, you know, you still use the middle of the field there because – if you want to get a field goal here, I think Pagliuca is going to need at least another 10 to 15 yards. Yeah. Three timeouts left. Coming Hopkinson. from our, our producer and director and one-man gang, John Ritz, up here in the, <laughs> in the booth with, with us doing a great job. That ball was deflected, Don, and knocked into the air, and Abbott still had the concentration and ability to, to make that catch. Melrose is lucky he didn't score. They were. Well, that's what, you know, when you're, you know, Will's a great athlete, and, and, and you know, when you, when you play at that level, things slow down for you, you know? Tri-Valley League MVP this year. Looks like Hopkinton has three, three on the left side. Kelleher back to throw, has time, throws one over the middle. That ball is almost picked off by Melrose. Up. Yeah, you know, that, that, they're lucky there that yeah. uh, that wasn't an interception. And I think, you know, Ryan had time there. If he would have given Lindquist just a couple more seconds to to run a little bit more open, he would have, uh, he would have uh, I, I think, been open and completed that for a touchdown. 
So I don't think they're even messing around here with um, with a field goal, Jay. I think they're going for the end zone. Oh, no, they're trying to score yeah. here. They're trying to score here from the 25-yard line. They got time for one more. You know, I, I don't I, – I'm looking for Pagliuca on the sideline. What is, he's number 57, I think. I mean, they didn't they didn't kick an extra point um, when they scored, and we were th saying, okay, it's just Coach Gerard being gutsy. But um, is Pagliuca even? Oh yeah, there he I is, number Pagliuca. 50. Yeah, there he is. Okay, all right. So we do have a kicker, but uh, he's not going to attempt this. It's a little bit too far. This would be about a 40-yard field goal on a cold November day, and I, yeah. I think that's a lot to ask from your junior kicker. Yeah, no. So this looks like it's going to be the last play, 3.6 seconds. So here we go. One last shot here for Hopkinton before the end of the half. Kelleher shot going with Hebert in the backfield. Abbott out wide with Link, looks like Linquist and Deloy in the slot. And Cooney on the right. Snap to Kelleher, again, good protection. He is gonna throw it into the end zone, and that is gonna be broken up. That pass is broken up by Melrose, number 31, Christopher Christopher. And that'll do it for the half, Don. Hawkinson leading eight to seven. In a great first half of football. Yep, we will see everybody right back here. Second half. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. And Kai. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H-Camp. Hey, I watch the game. Uh, camp. We love H-Camp. And I volunteer for H-Camp TV. And I watch H-Camp TV. And I love H-Camp TV. And I love H-Camp TV. We love H-Camp TV. Welcome back to the second half, Hiller fans. Hopkinton with an 8-7 lead over the Melrose Red Raiders. Looks like the boys are out and they're ready to go for another half. Hopkinton will receive. And uh, here we go, Don. It all comes down to one half of football. Yeah, and this it goes is, to the Super Bowl. This is exciting stuff here, Jay. Um, you know, the Hillers got down early last half. Um, they, you know, were able to get their feet under them and um, you know, they had that nice drive there and uh, and then hit uh, Kelleher to Abbott on a bomb and uh, big two-point conversion. And here we go. We're up 8-7. Hillers had an opportunity at the end of the half possibly to put some points on, weren't able to. And uh, they are going to receive here to start the second half. So it would be nice to get a get an early score and get things going. A couple of uncharacteristic turnovers by both teams at the end of the half, which made, the, uh, made it pretty interesting. But... Let's see what the second half brings here at Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Stadium in Weymouth High School. Hopkins is set to receive. Looks like Abbott. Is that Linquist or Deloya back there, Don, with Abbott? Ah, uh, that is Deloya. Abbott and Deloya back to receive, and the world's biggest kicker set to go from Melrose. Yeah, the guy next to him is pretty big, too, number 42. Kick is taken by Abbott. Breaks a tackle, slips another one, and he is out to about the 34, 35 yard line where Hopkinton will start the second half. Yeah, they had uh, they had two guys back there. They kicked it to Will, surprisingly. And uh, Will took it up. Getting the Hillers good field position here at about the 35 yard line. And uh, this would be a nice way to uh, kind of get control of this game here. I think if. Um, if you put Melrose behind, I think they're going to have a tough time throwing the ball yeah. in this Hiller defense. I think if you could force Melrose to throw, you can open up for some turnovers. Well, here we go. Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert. It's like trips right for Hopkinton. Here's the snap. Kelleher rolling right. Throws incomplete to Linquist. Yeah, balls incomplete. The tentative number three. Matt yeah, Linquist. Ryan just kind of sailed that ball. He does yeah. throw you know, well on the it's run. Just a little bit too hard to handle there. Connor Hebert threw a nice block to give him an ex extra second there, but um, Ryan looks like he just uh, kind of sailed it a little bit. Yep. Ryan looked a little tentative on that throw. Yeah, he almost stopped running and then threw it, where normally you'll see him run, you know, throwing on the run. That'll bring up second and 10 for the Hillers at their own 35. Kelleher in the shotgun, rolling right again. This time throws on the run, pass is tipped at the line. 
Incomplete. That'll bring up third and ten. Third and ten for Hobson. Looks like Melrose has well defended that play, Don. Yeah, there, there was really, he was looking for uh, Lindquist, but it was tipped at the line. But there was uh, two or three bodies around Lindquist there. And it's kind of interesting here, Jay, to start the second half with two straight passes. Looks like the Hillers may have uh, changed their game I think plan. They're going to open bit. it up a little here. Well, they're going to have to throw here on third and ten. Again, Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert in the backfield. Two receivers on each side. Takes the snap. Back to throw. Again, that pass is batted down at the line. Just a couple. Like number 88. Derrick. Yeah, it was. Derofoli. Um, It looks like there's been a couple adjustments. Uh, I think Melrose you know, sees that, you know, Ryan, one of his strength is not his height. And, uh, you know, it looks like they've got some height. So certainly they've been coached uh, to, to try and block and then block two, two in a row here. Kelly with the punt. And that is going to take a good bounce. And it looks like Hopkinson will down it. And Melrose will start at their own 21. Another good punt by Kelly. Well, with, that, with that low rugby style kick, Don, he gets some good bounces and, and some good yardage on those punts. Yeah, he's been a he's been a, a strength, a strength all year. In fact, I'm not sure if he made TVL All Star. I know there was 11, uh, 10 or 11 of those kids. Yeah. You had mentioned Will got TVL MVP, Michael Allenelli got uh, TVL Defensive Player of the Year, and you know, it's been a while since the Hillers have, have yep. put up those kind of numbers. Here we go, first and 10 from Melrose at their own 21. Hands it off to looks like number 32, the captain Kiernan, who maybe gets a yard, broken down, looks like he broke brought down by Ayanelli. So they rotate 32 and, okay, number four is in there. Because I would be, if I was Melrose, I'd feed feeding the ball to number four yeah, a little bit Number four bit more. seems like their playmaker, but 32 looks like more like their their short yardage guy. Number 12, Stanton in a quarterback. He's in the shotgun with both backs. Hand off, look, he's gonna keep it this time. Is Stanton, he is hit hard by Ionelli. Yeah, you had uh, Anthony Farina with a nice uh, tackle around his legs and Ionelli just came in and tattooed him. Ionelli bringing the wood there, but it, still not a bad gain from Melrose. It'll bring up second, look like third and about four and a half. This is where you want to see a negative play. This yeah, is where you want to see a sack. Big defense. Stanton in the shotgun. He's back to throw. He finds Seen. There's not a lot there. It'll yeah, that close. was. It'll be close, but I it looks like he's going to be a little short. Oh, that's going to oh, be a, man. No, that's a very favorable spot. What are we doing here with these spots? Very that's a favorable terrible spot. spot. It'll be a first down for Melrose on the nice play fake by Stanton. Now the Hillers were in position to make that See. play. Again, Stanton in the shotgun takes the snap, hands it to looks like Kiernan, and he's got some room. He takes it upfield for a good gain. Looks like about a 12 or 13 yard gain on a big hole on the right side of the Melrose offensive line. Yeah, that was probably one of the better blocked plays that Melrose had there. They had a nice seal block um, uh, on our linebacker. They kicked out the outside linebacker. Melrose nice going no game. huddle Don. Against Stanton in the shotgun. He hands it, it looks like someone jumped on Melrose. It's gonna. That's a, a nice gain by Kiernan, going to be brought back. I, I personally think I think I think uh, I think it was I think we're lined up offsides. I think um, Connor's in the neutral zone. Yeah, Connor's right standing. Down. Yeah, he's standing offsides. The penalty's going to be declined. And um, you know, Don, in this early in the second half, it looks like Melrose starting to to establish a real running game. That's the second time now on that right side that they've busted for about 12. Well, they stopped going over to Brown's side, and um, it looks like, you know, they have this number 72 uh, right tackle over here. It looks like he's pretty good, and um, that was a nice hard run, 32. Ionelli came up and stuck him, but uh, he, he almost took the brunt of the hit there. Yeah. So coming out in a no huddle, so there was, you know, I always like seeing adjustments at halftime. That means the coaches are there doing their job. And, um, you know, Melrose certainly came out with a no-huddle kind of thing. Um, 
they're not looking to throw the ball. They're just looking to impose their will. And right now, they've kind of got a little momentum going. This is an undefeated team that's been in two Super Bowls in the last three years, Don. And you don't do that by not making adjustments at the half. And uh, now, now Jim Gerard's going to have to make his adjustments to figure this out. Well, we kind of touched on it in the in the first half. You know, we're going to have to sell out a little bit on this run. If they're going to keep trying to pound, then we're going to have to do some run blitz, and we're going to have to bring our safety up a little bit more. Um, you know, maybe throw uh, Farina on, on some on some blitzes, some run blitzes up the A gap. Um, Here we go. Melrose in the shotgun again. Stanton still at at quarterback. He takes it and hands it to Seed, running right. Sorry, running left, and he is initially hit by Deloya. Bounces Ooh, out and then cleaned up by it looks like Link. Um, maybe Anthony Farina. Anthony Farina. Farina on the yep. play. Yeah, it was Anthony that scraped off there, and, and Nick had a or uh, Luke had a uh, a nice tackle there. You just got to keep your arms wrapped because he, yep. he made nice contact. But this number four kid's not going to go down with nope. uh, just you know you're being gonna, hit. You're not going to arm tackle him for uh -uh. sure. You got to. You got to square them up and wrap them up. That'll bring up second and ten for Melrose, who seems to be having more success running to the right side of the field. Stanton in the shotgun, takes a snap, play fake the seed. He's going to look downfield. He's got a man open, and it is dropped. Oh! So it looks like going to be an interference call against the lawyer coming over the top. That's an awfully close play. You know, it's hard to it's hard to see here. It almost looked like Luke may have had his hand on the back of his shoulder pads, but it, uh, you know, I mean, these these refs have been letting these kids play. I don't know why you're starting now to to get ticky tacky. Yeah, that was a that was a close one, and you hate to see a game decided by the uh, the laundry. But that's a big play, Don, and that'll give Melrose another first down now, getting deeper into Hawkinson territory. That was a nice play action pass, and he uh, he had a lot, he had a lot of time. starting to get some rhythm on offense. Stanton again takes the ball, hands it to Kiernan, who breaks it up the middle, bouncing and, and running straight downhill to about the 15. And again, Melrose using that big offensive line to get a big push and create some space for those talented backs. Both of these backs are physical. And, uh, you know, when you get towards the end of the game, you get sick of tackling them. Here we go, second and short from Melrose. Stanton in the shotgun. He gives it again to Kiernan, who bounces it out to the right, to the left, sorry. And he gets a pickup of about six. That'll be another Melrose first down. Hillers are not creating any negative plays defensively on this drive. And this is another long drive. I mean, we saw Melrose, uh, you know, put together a 97-yard drive in the first half. Um, this looks like more of the same kind of stuff here. Here we go, first and goal, first and 10 for Melrose. They can still get another first down. Looks like they're about the 11. Same formation, Stanton in the shotgun with the two-back split. He hands it to Seed this time, who takes it up the middle, and he is not going to get a lot, maybe two. There's another the late flag, flag. The play. Not sure what that's about. Uh, chances are it's going to be a personal foul on somebody. Tackle play number 23, Connor Hebert. Hebert with the tackle. Let's see what the penalty is. The late flag. It looks like a hold. Did he call a hold on against the defense? It came in. It came in late, and I don't know what he threw it right in the middle. I don't know what we're would be holding there, but yeah, it was definitely on Hopkinton. It's going to be first and goal from Melrose at the five. I'm not sure why they don't tell us what the call is. I don't know. Stanton again in the shotgun. Melrose going no huddle. Takes the snap. Play fake again to the 32. The the fullback Kiernan. It looks like he probably picked up about two or three on the play. He's down to what looks like about. Looks like he's down to about the two yard line stop by Farina. Yeah, Farina came in there and uh, made a nice stop. And the Hillers, you know, will let, it'll be interesting. Who do they have in quarterback here? Do they have that big guy, number 12? 12, yeah. it just looks like 12 is still, is 12 still in the game? Yep, yep, there he is. Yep, Charlie Stanton still QBing the. The Melrose Red Raiders. They ran a pretty Isaac effective Seed. sneak last time. Kiernan, a little bit of a different formation here as 
in, goes under center. He gives it to uh, Seed who bounces left, and he is into the end zone. On a very nice play by Melrose, concluding a very long, sustained drive where they have established a run game. Yeah, that, um, you know, this has been a, a rough start here to, to the second half for the Hillers. Uh, we, have, we got the ball. Weren't able to do anything on offense, went three and out, and, um, you know, kicked it to, to the Red Raiders, and they put together a long drive. So, you know, there's still plenty of football left. This Hiller team um, can handle pretty much anything thrown at them. So I think that offensively we're going to have to put some, some plays together here. Here we go. Melrose gonna, looks like they're going to call a timeout. Jim Gerard by going for two, is now forcing... Melrose's uh, hand, and, and now it looks like Melrose is going to have to go for two here. Melrose really has no choice here, Don, but to go for two, being only up by five points. Um, the extra point doesn't really do him much good here. No. There's a good bit of people here from Hopkinton today, Jay. Hopkinton High School, well represented. See a lot of alumni back for the game. A lot of alumni, a lot of students, a lot of faculty. Here we go for the extra point. The handoff is to Seed. He takes it straight into the end zone, almost Seed. untouched for the two-point conversion. And that will make the score 15 to 8 Melrose. And Hopkinton has some work to do. Okay, so we've got a ball game here. Neither of these teams are going to go away, and, and it seems like Melrose answers when they're put to the test. Now, Hopkinton is being put to the test again, uh, down by a touchdown, and we'll see what we have here. Don, I'm watching Ryan Kelleher warm up here on the sideline, mm -hmm. and I'm not. I'm wondering if he is in a little banged up. Just watching by the way he's throwing that ball. Well, he, he's, like he's shaking out his right hand a little bit. He's taking some hits today. Um, you know, he had that one big kid land on him. Looks like he got up kind of shaky. Um, you know, I'm, I mean, who knows? I mean, he's played well. He threw it. He's thrown us. So he's had a couple missed throws, but for the most part, he's, you know, he's been as consistent as he always has been. I just want to give a quick shout out today, Jay, uh, to the Hillers volleyball team who's going to be going for their second straight Massachusetts uh, state championship today D1 Boy. and they are playing uh, Newton North is that coach Grabmeyer Don that's coach Grabmeyer Melrose a short kick again that ball is mishandled by Abbott who picks it and picks it up and he is going to be tackled at about the 27 yard line yeah, Don, you mentioned volleyball. It seems to me like Hopkinton competes for the state title every single year now. Well, it was interesting because, you know, they, they're up at the D1 level now. They were D2 last year, and the way the numbers go in Hopkinton, you know, seems to have more more girls than boys right now, and, and we got bumped up to the D1 level, and nobody was really sure how we would compete, and Margie and the rest of the ladies there, they, uh, <laughs> they'll show you how we compete. So they're going to hopefully win it today out in, uh, I think they're playing out in Worcester. Okay, here we go. Hopkinton looking to bounce back now. First down at their own 27. Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert in the backfield. Ryan takes it, hands it to Hebert, who cuts it to the outside, and he is tackled for no gain by, it looks like, again, Captain 32, Kiernan with the tackle. Wasn't a lot of push there by the Hiller line. Um, Hebert didn't have much chance to do anything with that ball. And, and they, you know, the Hillers are going to have to, can't afford a three and out here, Rick. The defense was on the field too long. They got to give those kids a break. Not yeah. that a lot of them don't play both ways anyway, but you can't, um, you got to at least get a first down or two here to take the momentum away. Second and Melrose. 10 for the Hillers. Kelleher lone, lone in the backfield on the shotgun with three receivers to the left. Here's the throw, and it is over the head. Looks like intended for Will Abbott. And uh, Melrose looks to be confusing the Hopkinton offense a little bit, Don. I was just going to say, there was definitely some confusion there. Um, Ryan overthrew Will, but Will wasn't even that open, and it didn't look like they knew what pattern to be running there. So there, Melrose did a nice job um, making it difficult on the Hiller offense there. Big play here, Don, third and 10. You really you really would like to see a conversion if you're Hopkinton here just to, as you said, keep that defense off the field and, and try and establish some offensive rhythm here. So it's third and 10. Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert. Looks like three receivers left. Kelleher with the snap. He steps back. He's got time. He's hit as he throws, and that ball is incomplete over the middle. And again, Kelleher taking a big hit on that play. 
And he um, comes off the field, and Kelly is on the punt. Yeah, number, big number 66 kind of broke through, and uh, Hebert was trying to block him there as the last man standing and uh, kind of got by Connor and put a, put a nice stick right after uh, Ryan threw the ball. And, and that little bit of pressure kind of caused Ryan to sail it. And Kelly with the low punt again, this time received on a hop by Melrose, and then he is hit hard. Nice special teams play Tyler Doherty uh, saying hello. By Ty Doherty. Ty Doherty with a big hit. Maybe that'll get this Hopkins defense going. That's uh, that, that, that's a very nice stick by number 26, Tyler Doherty. Came in, and uh, I thought the Melrose guy was going to give us a block in the back, but he, he held up, and Tyler kind of shot through there. And uh, like you said, hopefully it'll give us a spark. Reminded me a lot of a kid named Nick Carraza from a few years ago oh, yeah. down on special teams. He yep. was a, a, a heat-seeking missile, too, kind of like Doherty. He was. Here, here we go, Melrose, handoff to Seed, and he breaks one. And he's off to the races, Don. He's going to take it in for the score. Wow. Right, number four, Isaac, Seed Isaac Seed running through down. people, running around people, and he down. has put number Melrose four, on top by two scores now. And uh, Hopkinton has some work to do here. Well, you know, this is going to change the um, game plan here offensively for Hopkinton. But just real quick to that play, uh, Jay, that was pretty much right up the middle. Yeah. Um, you know, there was a couple missed tackles. This number four does a nice job with his stiff arm. And, um, you know, uh, he's a, he's a, he's he's a got load. A, he's got a low center of gravity and thick legs, and he bounces off people. Yeah, and he's he, got a big, stout offensive line paving the way. And, and he may be one of the if not the best back they've seen all year, Don. Oh, yes, I, for sure. This is the, by far the best team we've seen all year. And I think it, it, it's, it's not unexpected. We knew what we were going to have here. And you know what, Jay? I mean, I don't know. I mean, the, you know, this might be the biggest deficit this team has had this year, but it's still only two scores here. They got their only midway through them. the, you know, we got four minutes left in the third quarter. We've seen this offense put up big points quickly in the past. And they're going to have to do it again. Right. Because it looks to me like Melrose on offense is going to continue to pound this football. Right. And they're not going to have that. Why would, why would they do anything else? I mean, it, it's working. If it ain't broke, you don't fix it. And um, Hawkinson here looking to do something on offense after two quick three and outs to start this second half. And um, Jim Gerard needs to figure this out. And it's got to start right now. Well, nice to see they haven't been kicking it very deep here with um, their big kicker, who actually, you know, he was the kid that put the big hit 66. on Kelleher, too. Yeah, 66 Quinones. What's his size? Six foot, 230 pound kicker. There we go. And uh, God. toes it Mark Mosley style. Another good kick here. It looks like going to be received by Deloya. No, it's Abbott. Sorry, Will Abbott. Breaks one tackle, gets it out to about the 31 yard line where Hopkins will take over. On the play by number yeah, I mean, the, you know, Melrose, as good as all good teams do, um, they they play very good special teams, and they're not letting Abbott have any space once he gets hands on the ball. So here we go. This is an opportunity for the Hillers. Um, you know, I think that they could easily get out there and uh, maybe do a couple of quick dump passes, try and get some sort of rhythm, because they left whatever rhythm they had in the locker room, because these two drives they've had have not been not So been here positive. we go. Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert in the backfield. Kelleher takes a snap, rolls right. Flushed. Looks like he completes a short one there to Deloya. Nice catch by uh, Deloya there. Good play by Luke, gain of about five. Yeah, again, that was, you know, Ryan kind of rolled out there and um, threw a low ball. Luke did a nice job getting down there and making that catch. And, uh, and getting, looks like they gave him four and a half yards, maybe five yards. Yeah, it would be second in the long five. Again, Kelleher on the shotgun with Hebert in the backfield with three receivers to the left. Kelleher takes a snap with a quick screen pass to Abbott. Slips one tackle, slips another tackle, keeps going upfield, and a great play. Good play there by Will Abbott, stretching a stretching a play that looked like a three-yard gain into about an eight-yard gain. That'll be first down for the Hillers. So we're starting to get things going a little bit here. That was a little bubble screen over to Will, and there was some good blocking there. Deloya threw a nice block, and uh, he had a nice block on the left tackle there, a nice chop block to, 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 to lower that kid's arms, the defensive end's arms. And uh, that was a big first down, this first first down of the half for the they Hillers. They needed it. And here we go again. 
trip receivers to the right. Kelleher on the shotgun with Hebert. Takes the pass, rolls right again. He has, looks like Lindquist for a short gain, maybe about three or four yards. So that's all right, Don. Positive yardage. Right. Another complete pass, establishing rhythm and tempo. And it's kind of what we we touched on, you know. They, let's let's get out here and try and throw a little couple dumps instead of trying to run it or throw it deep. Let's throw a couple dump passes, quick passes, and try and get a little rhythm. It looks like what they're doing here now. Still plenty of time. You know, no reason to go in a hurry up offense. But at the same time, I would still move with some urgency here. Which the, looks like what they're doing. Kelleher in the backfield, again, trip receivers to the left. Kelleher with Hebert in the backfield, takes the snap, rolls to, the, to his right. Has Abbott for a completion and looks like a first down. Good throw that time by Kelleher. That was an excellent throw, right, coming across his body, rolling to his left. Um, he had a kid, number 32, that was bearing down on him. I know he heard the footsteps. Ryan stayed calm, threw a bullet to Will Abbott, who did a nice job catching it and then getting out of bounds. Hopkinson now in uh, Melrose territory at the Melrose 45. First and 10 for the Hillers. Snap to Kelleher, rolls to his right. Throwing on the run, he's got a wide open Will Abbott there for a catch. And he's out of bounds at about the 25. Okay, so this is this is exactly uh, exactly what the Hillers needed here. You know, the Hillers have a lot of confidence in themselves. They know they can move the ball. They know they can throw the ball. They know they can run the ball. Kelleher did a nice job rolling out. That's when he does some of his best work. Abbott just broke off his route there. He had the safety over the top um, covering him. He just broke off his route. Kelleher made a beautiful pass, first down. Smart play by the senior receiver. Here we go. Kelleher again in shotgun. Trip receiver stack to the left. Kelleher rolling to his left this time. He has, looked like he had Deloy, but just overthrew him by a touch under, Kelleher under pressure there. Yeah, he rolled to the left. He was under pressure. He wasn't able to kind of turn his body to make an accurate throw there. Um, one thing we haven't seen from Ryan today, which we have seen in the past, is he does have the ability to take and, and run the ball. You yep. know, Ryan, he can, you know, you know, take it under his arm and, and get some positive yardage. And that could have been a situation there. He looked like he could have had some room there. Um, might want to file that away for later. Second and 10 here for the Hillers. The Melrose 23-yard line. Kelleher and shotgun. Abbott wide to the left. Deloy in the slot. Snap to Kelleher. He drops back. Looks like Melrose is coming with a blitz. Oh, and almost a terrific catch. Kelleher under pressure there. Tried to deliver it to Deloya, who went up, went up to make a great catch and just couldn't quite grasp it. And it looks like Kelleher's coming over to get a play. Yeah, Deloya looked like he could have been shaken up there. That, was, uh, that wasn't one of Ryan's um, better throws. It kind of came off his hand. It kind of fluttered a little bit. was high. Luke made a great effort to try and make that catch. Just went off his... Uh, Fingertips, and he got he got hit pretty hard there. So number nine, Kieran Hur just checked into the game, Don. Okay, that he's in there for Luke. So he's um, in there. if he's in there, he's probably in there for a reason. He's in there for Deloya. In there for Deloya. Third and ten here for the Hillers. Big play here. Snap to Kelleher, rolling to his right under pressure. He throws a complete to Linquist, who's going to be short. Pass is complete to Linquist. The four down territory here for the Hillers, Don, and at the Melrose twenty yard line. Yeah, I mean, you would, you if this was the NFL, you could consider, you know, kicking a field goal, getting down by 11, and it would still be a you know touchdown field. But this is this four down territory. All right, this Luke is back in the game. Luke and, and Kieran Hurst yep, still, Kieran in the game. still in there. So Hebert's coming out. Looks, Looks like, like they're going to coming out. So they're clearly going to throw the ball here. And they're going to do some sort of five wide. And they, they called a timeout. Sully called a timeout. Timeout, Hopkinson. Well, you know, you, you know, you, you want to save your timeouts, but at the same time, this is a huge play in this game right here. You've got 58 seconds left in the third quarter, down by two touchdowns. You want to make sure everyone's on the same page with this play. Absolutely. Fourth down, it looks to be about five yards at the Melrose 18. Big play here for the Hillers. Looking to convert for their third first down. Kelleher alone in the backfield, taking the shotgun. 
Snap, he drops straight back. He's got a, looks like he's got a receiver open in the end zone. And that pass is broken up. A great play by the Melrose Passes defensive broke. back. By number Christopher Cusolito, sophomore Melrose. defensive back. They, just, just enough air under that ball for him to close and make that play, Don. Yeah, it almost looked like it, again, was kind of floating there. Um, it, it took too long. The wheel was open. He did get behind him, but the uh, Melrose defender was able to recover and um, and, and make a, a big play. So now we're in a situation here, Jay, that you know we've got to have a three and out. Yeah. We'll see what Coach McLean draws up for the Hopkins in defense. Oh, and they are just going right back to their running back. That looks like 32 Kiernan right up the middle for another big gain. And Don, this uh, Melrose offensive line really starting to uh, establish some dominance now. Yeah, they, they're coming off the ball real well. Um, you know, we're not getting off of our blocks like we need to. Um, you know, it, it takes its toll. You know, it takes its toll. If you, you've got a, a team that's running the ball 30-some times with two kids that are over 200 pounds, it's... It takes, it takes its toll. Including their QB. Yeah, right. There you go. also keep it and run down here. Yeah. He's thrown his weight around in there, too. The snap to Stanton in the backfield. He hands it to Seed for a short game. Looks like about two yards on the play. Well, I mean, you can just see this adjustment that they've made here, too, Jay. You know, they were trying to get the edge on us in, in the first half, and Brown wasn't having any of it. They maybe got around one time. They're not trying that anymore. They're going right through the tackles, yeah. right up the middle, and uh, this is what their game plan is going to be. It's just kind of pounded away here. Well, that'll do it for the third quarter here at Sergeant Jeffrey Mullins Stadium in Weymouth High School. Melrose with a 22-8 lead over Hopkinton, and Don, it's going to come down to one quarter for the Hillers to see if they can mount a comeback here. Yeah, you got to get off the field defensively first. That's the first thing you got to focus on. We kind of had a nice drive there offensively, so it gives you the confidence to know that you're going to be able to move the ball. But, Jay, we haven't stopped this team here in a while. No, we have not stopped the Melrose offense in the second half. No. And uh, Coach McLean, the defensive coordinator for Hopkinton in his third year as defensive coach, Don, he's done a great job this year. He was a nice pickup by Coach Girardi. McLean was the, uh, the Bellingham head coach back in the uh, – you know, the two, uh, when my older son played there, like 2012 years, um, and he, he made you know, an instant impact. He, yeah, game. oh yeah, he, he was, he's been great. He's, he's a great guy too. Well, let's see what he can do here, Don. If he can get this team, if he can get some kind of a scheme figured out to stop this Melrose running That's game. That's movement on the right side of the line. Can you call that, please? That's a great play there by Anthony Farina. That is an outstanding play. Yeah, you know what? I love that because, you know, we, we didn't really talk about Anthony at all the first half. He's a TVL first team all-star. Had a heck of a year. Two-way player. Kind of a quiet first half. Two-year for the Hillers, and he is, he is a great, great defensive player. And, and um, making a big play there when they really needed it. You need negative plays. And, that, and you gave him there. Like I said, the, the right tackle moved there. I don't know why there wasn't a procedure call. It'll bring up third and seven for Melrose. Stanton in the backfield with Seed and Kiernan. Takes a snap, the hand is to Seed. He breaks it out to the left and he is not gonna get anything. He is swarmed on by the right side of the hot pillar defense. Again, Farina and Brown it looked like on the play. Ionelli cleaning up. Yep, Farina. Melrose, Melrose will punt here. Good. Yeah, uh, Brown did a nice job, you know, holding the edge like he's done all game, all season. And um, that's a big uh, big turnover on downs for the Hillers. So now, Don, I think most coaches will tell you on fourth down, it comes down to your seniors. Which is one of the strengths of this team. Will Abbott receives the punt at the 30. He breaks a tackle and then is swarmed on by the Melrose special teams, and he's down at about the Hopkinson 33-yard line. And now we're going to see what the seniors can do here, Don. Look for Connor Hebert and Will Abbott to make some plays here on offense, along with maybe even um, Matt Lindquist and Shane Cooney. Yeah, Cooney, I'd like to see them try and get the ball in his hands a little bit. I, I haven't uh, – he's been kind of quiet today and even the last game. Um, you know, Lindquist made a couple passes. But, yeah, if you're doubling Abbott here, there's other options. And I wouldn't even mind, you know, they're putting such a pass rush on these guys. I wouldn't mind seeing a screen play here to Heber. You know, let those let those guys get in there and then dump it to Connor and see what he can do with the ball. Yep, Connor's a playmaker and it's time to get him the ball. 
Abbott in motion. Kelleher takes a snap, throws a quick screen pass to Abbott, who turns the corner quickly. And a big gain by Will Abbott, dropped by number four, Isaac Seed, who seems to be all over the field. Yeah, well, obviously that kid can play defense, too, because Will made a nice move on him. That, first of all, that was a nice pass by Ryan. That's not an easy pass to throw, that little flare pass like that, on the run, hitting Abbott on the run. Abbott made a nice turn, used the speed, made a nice move. Number four, perfect for, form tackle right there. That kid is clearly a football player. Okay, it'll be first down for the Hillers at their own 47. Kelleher in the shotgun with Hebert. Handoff is to Hebert. He goes right up the middle. Looks like for a, maybe a short gain of three. Yeah, I mean, you've got time here. We've got 850, you know, we're in the fourth quarter, but you don't have to pass, pass, pass. You can mix it up. Um, you know, you soften up the middle, and that might open something up to a play action pass here. I notice a lot of two way players for both of these teams, Don, which is typical in Division IV football. Oh, yeah. The typical in most high, most high schools, yeah, the D1 and lower for sure. I mean, D2 and lower. Kelleher takes a snap, rolls to his right. He's got Linquist there for a short gain. That'll yeah, make it about third and three for the Hillers. Yeah, that's that just little uh, that, that that little out. You'll see Lindquist run that, and you'll see Abbott run that. And uh, Kelleher throws that ball very well. And uh, they didn't. He must have stepped out a little sooner than we thought because this is, looks like it's about third and five. Yep, looks like about third and third and five. Maybe a two-yard gain there. Kelleher again in shotgun with Hebert in the backfield. Hey, what do we got over there? Uh, Deloy has got nobody on him here. Just throw a little bubble over there. What are we doing? Here we go. Kelleher steps straight back. He is blitzed. He breaks a tackle. Ryan Kelleher taking it upfield. That's what we're talking about. Kelleher making things happen on a great, great play. Avoiding the blitz for what looked like to be about a 25, 30 yard gain for the Hillers. That's a big play right there, Jay. That is a big time play. Ryan was flushed out of the pocket, stepped up, and then again, you know, we kind of touched on it. He can run the ball. Uh, it, like the inside backer blitz, and there was plenty of room in the middle of the field, and yep. Ryan took off. Broke a couple of tackles to get an extra 10, and the Hillers are in business here at the Melrose 22-yard line. Kelleher rolling to his right, throws a complete to Linquist. Good gain there by Linquist. Looks like about a four-yard gain. That was a nice catch. That was a shoot thing. That was yeah. not a good throw by Ryan on that play. Seems to be a favorite play of the Hillers here. Senior captain Matt Linquist has had a few of those today. He's had a good year. He plays well on both sides of the ball. Matt Linquist, a really good two-sport athlete. Also a, a, a forward for the Hawkinson Hiller hockey team. Okay, that's good. So he's a good athlete. I think what the Hillers have a good shot at winning the President's Cup or whatever they call the TBL champion. Most TBL Kelleher champion. takes it. Drops straight back, plenty of time to throw. Oh, Unloads gosh. it, this does not look like a good result. That ball is intercepted. Oh. And it is being returned almost out to the 40 yard line. Ill-advised throw there by Kelleher Don under, under duress. And uh, that stops a promising Hiller drive and Melrose will take over here. And um, that's gonna be a tough blow to come back from. That was an uncharacteristic play by Ryan there. He did get flushed uh, out of the pocket. He had some guys in his face. I think he was trying to throw it away. He just did not get enough oomph on the ball. And um, it's just an uncharacteristic mistake by Kelleher. He you, does not do that very often. You can see him on the sideline clearly distraught. Coach Gerard trying to pick him up here. Now this game's not over. You know, you, again, you got to sell out here and, and, and get, you know, get three and out here again. So here we go. Hopkinton Hill is looking for a turnover here on defense. I got to make a play. Handoff to Seed. He is dropped by the, the Hopkinton defense after maybe a half or a one yard gain. You can see Melrose here, Don, is going to be content to run this clock out as much as they can. Oh yeah, they'll be using every, every, every second of the play clock. Second and eight for Melrose at the 35 yard line. And let's see, we've got four timeouts left. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to save them. So, I mean, Melrose could easily run off another two minutes here. OK, 
Okay, Melrose. A timeout by Melrose. It's like they ran it down and then they didn't have enough time to get lined up to, to make a play, so they called timeout. So if we stop them here, Jay, um, you're going to have to be, you know, we almost blocked the punt early in the game. Maybe trying some sort of punt block and. Uh, They're going to have to throw down the ball deep downfield a lot here, Don, when they get the ball back. Um, they just don't have time on their side at this point. Down no. by two scores and six minutes left uh, against a team that, that can run the ball and, and eat the clock. Melrose lines up with um, Stanton and Seed in the backfield. I think you can probably anticipate a lot of uh, Isaac Seed here, Don. Again, the handoff is to Seed. He bounces out. And he is brought down by Deloya. Deloya just hanging onto the jersey and riding them like a Bronco to the ground. Well, you know, Deloya did a nice job. I and Ellie had some pressure there, too. Again, selling out from your safety spot. You know, we're, we are selling out on the run here, obviously. Deloya made a nice job tackling that kid the only way you can is down around his legs. And he's still powerful enough to keep it going. And, 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 and you know, Luke was not letting go and made a nice play there. It's, a, it's, a, it's sometimes the only way to bring down a great back like that, Don, is you just grab his jersey and ride him to the ground. Okay, we need to stop here. Stand in the backfield with Kiernan. Seed in the slot this time. He comes in motion. Stan's going to keep it, and he's going to get nowhere as he is brought down again by it looks like Anthony Farina and Kyle Cousins. Yeah, Cousins was there, and Deloya was there at the end trying to make a strip, which is a good play at that point. At this point, you got two of your boys tackling them. Deloya came in there and tried to make a strip, which was the right thing to do. 12 held onto the ball, so uh, here we go. We got fourth down. Are we going to go for a block a here? Their own, from their own 30. Hoffman is going to get the ball back with four minutes and change, and they are coming after it. Good kick will be received by Abbott. He's, He's got, got some space. space to run. Abbott takes it into Melrose territory to about the 47-yard line. And there's plenty of time here, Don. Yeah, there's Quick some time. by Hopkinson, and uh, they're back in business. There's, there's some time. They have to um, put some plays together. No need to panic right now. Let's... Uh, Let's just make some positive yards here right off the bat. I, I, I don't know if I'd be running the ball at all here, Jay, because you really don't have the time. And I would think that we're going to go more hurry up as opposed to huddling and the whole that. You're going to see some shots down the field to Will Abbott. See if that Hopkinson line can protect Keller and give him the time to make these throws. They've been doing a pretty good job so far today and all year, actually. And here we go. Kelleher in the backfield. Shotgun. Takes the snap, rolls to his right, got time. And that pass is incomplete, intended for Cooney. I don't know if that was, it looked like it might have been tipped. It's like maybe one of the uh, DNs got a piece of that ball and still well covered by both Seed and Kiernan who seem to be everywhere for the Melrose Red Raiders. Team. Yeah, Cooney was not really that open there and he had two guys on him, which makes me think, okay, so where's Abbott then, you know? Right. If they're, if they're putting two on Cooney, Second and ten for the Hillers. Again, Kelleher in formation with three receivers stacked to the right. Looking for a bubble screen here to Abbott, maybe. Kelleher rolling right, has time. Hit hard as he throws it. And uh, Ryan Kelleher is uh, taking some shots today, Don, from this, this Melrose defense. Yeah, if they're if they're not, you know, the Melrose has had a few sacks on us, but if they're if they don't get to the sack, they're they're you know they're hitting them after he throws the ball. And unfortunately, these quarterbacks don't get protected like uh, the NFL quarterbacks do. And, he and, uh, and Ryan's a tough kid. And he gets back up every time and goes yeah, back does. for more. But but um, yeah, he's having a hard time finding the space he needs to make those throws. Same formation. Same formation, trips right. Kelleher takes a snap, it snaps a quick bubble screen to Abbott. That ball is incomplete, ruled a forward pass. Incomplete. Which makes it fourth down for Hopkinson, who just see just can't seem to really get much of a rhythm on offense. Nah, and that was another tough throw by, by Ryan. You know, he didn't set his feet that well there, and um, 
Looked like that was gonna. That was intended for Linquist, and I don't know if that was gonna be a double pass. I really didn't see if anybody leaked out here to go deep, but um, it was just an unfortunate, uh, unfortunate pass. So fourth and ten, and for fourth all and in ten, intents and purposes here, this is the ball game for the Hillers. They're gonna make this play. Hebert out of the ball game, which means there'll be five receivers in there for Hopkinson. It's like Kieran Herr back into the game wide right. Deloy in the slot. Kelleher lone backfield in the shotgun, takes the snap. Throwing it downfield, that ball's gonna be intercepted, Don. Again, by Kiernan, who else? He and yeah, Andrew, Isaac Seed have made every play today, it seems like, for the Red Raiders, and uh, down by the hole is awfully three, deep now for Hopkins. Yeah, that, you know, I, I think that was that intended for Will. I wasn't sure who he was going for there, but it, it wasn't a good pass, and, uh, it was, made, it was an easy interception for uh, for Melrose. So now we're back at it again. You kind of got to sell out here, try and get the ball back. I mean, you know, I've seen crazier things in football, but, uh, you know, we're on life support at this point. So here we go. Melrose with the ball. I think you can anticipate a lot of Isaac Seed. Stanton hands it to Seed. He dives to the left for about a two-yard gain. Oh, Flag geez. on the play. Looks like maybe a... That's going to be a personal foul, I could think, Could be a late hit on, on Hopkinson trying to jar that ball Hopkinson loose. We hope not. I think that's Flag what it's going to be. Personal foul against Hopkinson. Hopkinson being forced into trying to gamble here a little on defense. Now, I don't know if I'd call that unsportsmanlike, but maybe just more of a, a desperate attempt to jar a ball loose by Ionelli. Yeah, when they, you know, the whistle had blown and he was still giving the business in there. It's, the refs are standing right there. They're not going to let that go. Ionelli, the uh, future West Point cadet, Don. Yes, yes. Ryan, uh, or Mike, um, is uh, is going down to Army, um, and he's going to serve his country when he's done there. So that's excellent stuff. It says a lot about the Hopkins in school system as well as it does about Mike Ionelli. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Second, first down and 10, the pitch to Seed. Looks like there's going to be a, a hold here against Melrose. By seed. Yeah, that was, um, Ryan Brown. although it's, it's low, is it? Hopkins yeah. and the vendors, looks like they're all slow to get up at this point in the game, Don. They are exhausted. Well, again, they've been on the field for a lot of plays. I mean, Melrose has put together some really long drives. And it's a credit to Melrose, Don, because this isn't a good Hopkinton defense. This is a great Hopkinton defense that right. has not given up many points in the last five or six games. Right. And um, it says a lot for that Melrose offensive line that they can they can put this kind of a physical um, beatdown on the Hopkinton defense like this. Here we go. It'll be first and about 20 after the holding call for, for Melrose. As the clock continues to tick, Stanton takes a snap. He hands it to Kiernan, who was brought down by Ionelli. Nice tackle by Ionelli. He's going to play hard to the last whistle. You know that. Yeah, these kids aren't going to quit by Karina's any means. Marina's slow to get up, limping a little bit. There's no way you're dragging him out of this game either. So it's second and 20, um, so second and 14 now. They make a, a stop here and then, um, you know, put them in a long third down. I'm sure they'll run the ball twice here. You almost want to start thinking about using your timeouts here if they uh, if they run it no matter what happens here because you get the ball back with a minute left, you're, you're you can't done. Do anything. Right. So, yes, you do need your timeouts when you have the ball, but, you know, you got to get the ball back first. So. Well... If this team doesn't end up going to Gillette to play the Super Bowl, Don, I know they're going to be disappointed, but I think when the dust settles and they take a breath, they're going to look back and really be proud of what they did this season and the ride they took this town on this year. This has really been a great, great year for Hopkins in football and Hopkins in athletics. This, this, this team has nothing to be ashamed of. These boys have had a great season. Hand off to Seed, who breaks it to the right. He breaks a tackle. He breaks another tackle. He is off to the races. It looks like he just got his feet crossed up. That's a first down for Melrose. And again, hard physical running by Isaac Seed. Down to the Hopkinson 34-yard line. 
it would be first and 10 for Melrose. Yeah, he kind of broke through the line there, and um, he's got a burst of speed. Yeah. And uh, Yeah, you're right. I think the AstroTurf is what, what took him down there. Yeah. He just kind of tripped. Um, otherwise, he could have taken that to the house, too. So hard, he, yeah. hard physical running by Isaac Seed all day and Charlie Kiernan. And this is a uh, this is a this is an impressive Melrose team, though. Yeah, I don't know what Neshoba is bringing to the table, but um, this team is going to be difficult to beat. And, and and give them credit, Jay. I mean, heck, they were down eight seven. Everyone was hugging, and everyone felt pretty good yeah. at halftime and getting the ball back. And they See. really. Seed again with the carry and dragging three Hopkins and defenders five yards that time. I mean, they, they made the adjustments that were necessary at the half, and those kids, you know, they're a veteran group on that side. They've been in big games. They weren't rattled, and and they came out and really uh, really took it to, to the Hillers in the second half, and, and they've earned this victory. There's no doubt. That'll make it second and six for Melrose. Clock ticking down to under two minutes now. Melrose looking to finish strong. Yeah, I, th yeah, I think Melrose has made two pass attempts the entire day, Don. Yeah, well, they, they haven't needed to. Here we go again, another another carry by Seed who takes it up the middle, running hard with those high knees and those and low shoulders, and he gets another first down from Melrose. I think we might be seeing a victory formation here unless they're focused on scoring, but uh, I don't think that they need to do anything else. But get into a victory formation. But Jay, you know, you had touched on the success that this team has had. This has been one of the best teams really in in Hiller history. Really I mean, if you look been. if you look back through all the records and, and whatnot, I mean they, and these guys are in that conversation for sure they are. one of the best teams, you and know, it, ever to a, wear the green. And a little unexpected, Don. I think this team was expected to be pretty good, but maybe not great. Right. And it's a strong, strong group of seniors that just refuse to lose football games. Well, I think, you know, last year they, they walked off the field in Thanksgiving with a, a disappointing loss, and the kids all went out and they worked really hard in the offseason, and, and they had a, a, a senior-led team, and, you know, they had, a, they had a great year, which, you know what, Jay, you got to remind everybody, it, it, it's, it's over in the playoffs, but we do still have one more game left. Right. And, um, and, and we have a little bit of revenge that I think that these Hillers are going to want to finish strong. And Victory formation for the Melrose Red Raiders, and that will do it, Don as Melrose takes a knee and they, um, they celebrate on their sidelines with their fans and the Hopkinson Hillers, disappointed, as we said, disappointed but proud, I would say. These kids have nothing to be ashamed of. This coaching staff has nothing to be ashamed of. They, you know, the whole town has been behind them. Um, it's been great for Hiller football. Um, it has been. And I think, you know, and it's, and it's people don't even realize you know, the the effect it'll have even years down, because you've got a bunch of little kids watching this. Sure. You know, that are, do I play football? Do I play uh, soccer? Do I play football? You play football. <laughs> which bring, which <laughs> you know? does bring us to that subject of youth football and how do we grow youth football? Because right now, it's difficult. It's, it's a challenge to grow youth football with the, um, you know, the, the concerns over head injuries and injuries in general. Uh, a strong football team like this will get kids excited about playing. Sure, and I think that the sport as a whole, from the youth level all the way up to the NFL, has made changes, you know, to make the sport safer. They keep, they take care of the players. If somebody gets their, their bell rung, they come out of the game. So, um, you know, hopefully the numbers will increase, at least on our side, uh, you know, on the heels of this great season that Hopkinton's put together here. So, sure thing. Uh, we'll see these guys um, on Thanksgiving. HKM will be there a week uh, well, I guess it's coming up here next Thursday. Next Thursday, Hopkinton Miller football at uh, at Hopkinton High School against the Ashland uh, Clockers in the uh, annual Thanksgiving Turkey Bowl. That'll do it here at Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Stadium at Weymouth High School. Melrose Red Raiders beating the Hopkinton Hillers 22 to eight. Again, I'm Jay Golfy here with Don Lehman, uh, saying goodbye until Thanksgiving. Have a nice night, everybody.